Welcome to Sports Banner. This is Bryce, and I know this is late, but I feel like I still have to cover this. It's the we're talking about the series in the first round between the Portland Trailblazers and the Denver Nuggets. Now I've taken a couple days to think about, you know, just the ramifications of all of this. And I've been thinking about, you know, Damian Lillard and the aftermath of the series for the Portland Trailblazers, which they lost in six games against the Denver Nuggets. A Denver Nuggets team, which, by the way, doesn't have Jamal Murray, one of their better players. I was kind of surprised that the Denver Nuggets won this series. I thought that maybe the Trailblazers, you know, would win in seven and would move on to the next round. But and this is really concerning for the Portland Trailblazers. I mean... This is the, I believe, four first round exits from out of the last five years. And that's that's really not good. It's terrible. And I mean, it's terrible to the point where Coach Terry Scotts, Terry Scotts or Terry Stotts, whatever his name is, he uh he mutually agreed to part ways with the with the Portland Trailblazers. And And the Portland Trailblazers are going to have a new leadership, a new look kind of to them. And I think now might be the time. I know this has been talked about for a couple of years, but maybe it is time to shop around CJ McCollum and to really move on from him. He really wasn't an impactful player in this playoff series. It really felt like it was all Damian Lillard. And even if Damian Lillard, you know, scored 56 points in a playoff game, they still lose to the Denver Nuggets. It's ridiculous it's it's kind of sad I feel bad for Damian Lillard I know he loves the city of Portland so much but I also think he really has a little bit of a drive to win a ring to win an NBA finals and it's tough when you're on the Portland Trailblazers just because of you know how things have been run the just the amount of like they ha- they're trying to go all in for Damian Lillard you know they're trying to go all in, but it's not working. It, they're not getting anywhere. I mean, you thought that this Norman Powell, I thought that this Gary Trent Norman Powell trade could, you know, push them up to the next step. Getting back in his canter could be, you know, a next step thing, but they didn't even make it past the first round against a wounded Denver Nuggets team who, I mean, they're still good. They're still amazing. I mean, Nikola Jokic, to me, is the MVP of the league. You're going against. A team like that, Michael Porter Jr. stepping up, and then you have Austin Rivers coming out of nowhere and really surprising us this playoff series, kind of like an I'm back kind of statement. I mean, you've got players on this team, and then even players like Aaron Gordon, who he just got onto the team, and he's he's making a good impact for the team. Just all of that combined, I was just surprised that the Trail Blazers would lose. And... Now for the Trailblazers, it's trying to find a head coach. Trying to find a head coaching job. And then are they really going to stick with the Damian Lillard, CJ McCollum experiment? Which I don't think it's been working. I think they need a change. But I'm not part of the Portland Trailblazers organization, so I can't really make those decisions. As for the Denver Nuggets, they're going against the Phoenix Suns. In this, in the second round of the playoffs, I think it's going to be a very close series. But in the end, the Phoenix Suns should come out on top. Speaking of the Phoenix Suns, we're going to have a video coming out in maybe an hour or so, just about the Phoenix Suns and the Lakers, as I really did not have time to record over these past two days. So be on the lookout for that. Until next time, see you guys in the next one.